Hey everybody, welcome back. Kovac here, and for this one, be doing a pet spotlight on the Akira Tunneler, a pet that I uh, never got a chance to use back in BFA, as uh, the prices were pretty high for it. So now that we're in the next expansion, prices have dropped quite a bit. So I figured I'd pick it up for myself, and uh, this be the first time I ever used it. So here it's actually a pretty good pet. It looks like I didn't choose quick enough there, so that was my fault. Um, let's just go ahead and go for a sandstorm. Also, first time I'm using the Void Scar to Noob Sap. Got a nice crit right there, too. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and spam some Spirit Fire Bolts. It's a very nice crit you got there, Noob Sap. He's going to go ahead and sack himself off. Don't know if I recommend that. He's got a funny name for his rat bear, Cheese. Okay. Oh, uh, I mean, what were you gonna do? You gonna change the weather? Okay. Fair enough. Uh, what are you gonna do now? Ooh, that hurt quite a bit. Hmm. Actually faster than him. He's got the power power breed after all. Let's go for a sandstorm do a lot of damage to him As well as get rid of that massive damage he's doing to me. Oh that actually killed him. Holy crap That's <laughs> over 1200 damage <laughs> Oh dang. Yeah, I'd run away too, man. I mean, I don't blame you there. That's just insane. I mean Nishi run does have a lot of uh you know, a lot of power to him, but I didn't think it did over 1,200 to uh, freaking aquatics. Although I should have expected that because a uh, it uh, basically, I think, if I remember right, it takes half of the normal damage here and then adds that to to 830. So yeah, I guess I could I should have saw that coming. But uh, wow, absolute smackdown. Anywho, uh, Akir Tunneler, it's a pretty nice critter. Health power, even though it probably could be considered a power power. Uh, it is from Skizztras and Oldham. It's just one of those rare mobs. Kill it, good chance to get it. Can be caged and bought off the auction house, which is what I did. Uh, back then, it was like, I've seen prices up towards like 100k or so. So when I found this one for like, God, I actually don't even remember. <laughs> like half or less than uh, 100k, so somewhere around that and the Kira Tumbler is going to absolutely shine in this battle. I wouldn't even be surprised if I 1v3 these rapids, although I won't get my hopes up quite yet. Stampede. Because the thing with the Akira Tumbler is a lot of power behind it. So obviously Sandstorm is going to hit crazy hard. Has a very strong ability for critters as you can see. Then you can basically double dip with your defenses, being Shell Shield and the uh, Sandstorm. So I'm going to take zero damage from many of these. Probably not even his Scratch. Well, maybe his Scratch, but uh, it will be significantly reduced. I doubt he has Scratch, by the way. I just said that because uh, of it being 260 there. But uh, yeah, this is the main build you're going to go with the Akira Tunneler. The other options not so much because it's slow as crap so i think the other options are flurry for your first slot burrow for the second and then the third is shell shield and uh swarm of flies and i really do like swarm of flies but under sandstorm it's not going to be that effective so i would really recommend it and uh i guess i should have Giving myself more credit because it looks like a Kira Tunnel is absolutely dominating in this battle. Not that you would expect to go against, you know, three rabbits or something on the daily. I mean, it is Critter Week after all, so what can you expect? I got a crit right there. I mean, there's just nothing you can do against a Kira Tunnel. I'm sure that uh, one of these two could. Easily sold the rabbits. Although, why would you run triple rabbits though? And another, none of them have burrow. Hmm. What an odd decision. But I mean, it's different. So 
I won't complain. The difference, uh, pretty cool. Let's go for another claw into a sandstorm. Boom. Oh, he did get quite a bit of crit, so at least he did get the tunneler below half health, so I'll give him that, but... I mean, there's, there's just nothing he can do. I mean... And as you saw... So I do have another team with him, uh, obviously Sandstorm, because uh, why else would you run anything else? He's too slow to take advantage of Flurry. Uh, he hits hard with Burrow, but again, not very fast. And then Storm Flies, like I said, is the only real option. So uh, main thing you're going to go with is Sandstorm. Probably only going to play with this team for one battle, maybe. I don't know. It's just really strong, as you can see. I mean, Living Sandling, one of the best pets right now. Gear Tumbler, pretty damn good pet. Then KR Gardling again, one of the best. And a uh, triple aquatic team. Oh boy, this guy is uh, not going to have a good day. Although it could be the same guy who's doing Family Brawl or something. I don't know. I mean, he does have a Hydroling and the damage buff to weather abilities. So Call Lightning does hit harder. At least that did make Hydroling better. Hydroling was only really good back in, uh, I think it was Wad, and then they changed the whole shell armor thing, and then a bunch of new pets were added, and slowly but surely disappeared until you occasionally see it in cases such as a uh, Critter event. Pretty cool pet, though. I'd say the little buff to it was definitely needed, so at least it made it a little bit better. It's too bad it ain't faster though to take advantage of shell armor. I mean, his whole gimmick here, he's got a uh, dazzling dance, so there's that. Let's uh, go ahead and go into Living Sandling. Okay, he changed my weather. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go for a quicksand. Just go ahead and get that on him. And I'll go for a sandstorm doing massive damage. Boom. A sand bolt should be enough to finish him. Uh, barely not enough. 200 exact. Alright. Well, one more will. No, he changed my weather again. Aw. Oh well. Hydrogelings last. Only two turns left of that. Uh, let's just go into the guardling. I don't really want to lose any of my pets if I don't have to. Here goes the shell armor, as to be expected. We're now faster. I can stun him here. Alright, and then we will get... Actually, no, I think I'll weaken him down until he's in range of this sandstorm. 695. But boom. Yeah, that, uh, once again, a pretty big smackdown. The critters, the, uh, tunneler just absolutely destroys, and then aquatics, the whole team destroys. So, yeah, not much that they can really do about that. I guess one build that you could do is maybe claw, burrow, and swarm of flies, but... It's not really utilizing the true potential of this pet, so. Yeah, even though some people may not like Sandstorm, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's just the strength of the pet, you know? It's actually a pretty large pet. Almost kind of the size of, uh, was it Son of Garillon or something like that? One of those Kuntrong bugs that have a hilarious size. I thought it was pretty funny. Oh, it looks like it didn't choose fast enough. That's okay. I got Sandstorm. Boom. Oh, I missed. Well, there's no way that he can miss right now because of his uh, rain dance. Ouch. No, I missed again. Anubisaf, what are you doing? 
Okay. Oh, okay, you missed. Alright, well, I mean, that's something you gotta expect from Sandstorm, so. It is what it is. Uh, I'll wait for you to throw that out. Oh, well, I guess he's being smart and waiting on me. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and do it now. Ouch! Holy crap. Just getting crit on my Nubisaf. I'm getting, uh. No, oh, I took him out. Okay. Well, he took down the pet this time at least, so good on him. Alright, Renishi Runt. Let's just go ahead and go for a focus while I can. Oh, that hurt. That hurt quite a bit. Boom. Oh, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go for the Sandstorm now. I mean, look at that damage. Look at that damage from... Oh, man. <laughs> Renishi Runt. I had to do him like that, man. Over 1,800. God, I love this pet. Not just because it's my favorite pet in the game, but uh, just the whole model, it's Musa and everything. It is just terrific. Absolutely terrific. I love you, Renisha Runt. Let's see, how far along are we into this? Wow, only at the 11 minute mark. And we already got like four games in. Hmm. I'm almost tempted to make another team while uh, I'm recording. I mean, possibly if I could uh, think of something because these games are going pretty fast. Hopefully we can go against somebody with a much, uh, much more stronger team. This team I kind of just threw together. I love the Renisha Runt, Q Tunneler, love that pet too. Never played with the uh, Void Scarred Noobsat, even though uh, this team has two humanoids on it. Oh, another uh, <laughs> another aquatic team, Emperor Crab. I don't really particularly like that pet. So I'm not gonna feel bad about uh, destroying that, but these other two pets are pretty cool. I'll start with my Tunneler this time around, just to change things up. Alright, starting with the Octopod. It's all magic abilities. Uh, he might have a dodge? Okay, he went ahead and did that now. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this now. Alrighty, well that will definitely take him out. Over 1200 damage. I wonder why he never uses dodge or sewage eruption. That was kind of odd. Alright, Emperor Crab, I think I'm just going to stay in and attack. Oh, he's got, uh, he's got Snap this time around, probably to counteract my Tumblr. That was pretty smart. Except for the fact that he can't use Surge to outspeed any of my pets, so as long as I hit him with a Sandstorm from either pet, he will go down. Goodbye, Emperor Crab. Boom. Nothing more satisfying than hitting over a thousand damage to finish the Emperor Crab, and Vanax runs away. Yep. So, I think I'll do another battle, and while that's going, I'm going to try and think of another team, potentially, with the Akira Tunneler. Looking at all the other sandstorm options. Huh. Bronze proto whelp. I thought about the proto whelp, but the main thing it's got going for it is sandstorm because of 
obviously, the buff damage. I also thought about Drafty, but... Uh, I mean, Drafty would be a okay option. It's just that Sandstorm kind of destroyed the whole uh, dots that it has so they could put it out. Alright, well, we got a bit of a different team here, so that's great. So, terrible turn up. Uh, I'll start out with the Anub Saf just to sort of see what he brings out. Okay. Ah, uh, well, at least he won't be able to hit me with any of that. At least I don't think he can. Except for one whole damage. All right. Well, let's just go into the Tunneler if he's going to be into that. Take this time to throw up my defenses. Ha! That's gonna basically do nothing. Actually, if I go ahead and throw up the Sandstorm from Cure Tunneler, ha! It blocked it. Then uh, that should definitely negate all damage because of uh, Cure Tunneler having more attack power than the Nubisaf, and the damage reduction is based off of attack power. Huh, it still did damage. Kind of surprised by that, but it's no big deal at all. Okay, ba-boom. Alright, Graves, the biggest worry I have because I have two humanoids. However, with my Gear Tunneler, it's not that big a deal. I mean, probably has consumed corpse, I'd imagine. So I can probably see that coming. There it is. Okay. Just gonna keep chipping away at you. Yeah, that was pretty smart. <laughs> Absolutely blocked all of that. That's too funny. Alright, he's actually going to get some decent damage on me, but with this up, uh, it's either going to be nothing or barely anything. Wow, he landed that. Huh. You know, I kind of thought he would have that, but I didn't think it would land. That he would get a nice heal out of it, but I guess not. He actually got that 40%, funny enough. He uh, definitely could have used that heal, that's for sure. Oh no! It didn't kill him! Come on! Oh, look at that damage on Claw. Over 450? It's pretty darn great. Alrighty, let's just go for Renishi Runt. I am faster than Graves. So as long as I land the Sandstorm, he will go down. And here we go. As long as I don't miss, uh, this will be the end of you, Graves. Even if it does miss, uh, there's just no way that he can actually pull this out. Oh, wow. That actually uh, negated that much damage. That was over 100 damage that it negated. Actually, no, not 100 damage. About 40 or so. Huh. <laughs> Uh, I completely forgot about the sandstorm negating the damage there. That's funny. Oh well, I'll be fine. I can't miss because I have focus up. It'll just take a uh, little while longer to take him down. And boom. Alright. Oh, Graves, you already consumed both your corpses. What were you thinking there? Of course you can't have a third one, silly. Ooh, that was a crit. 
All right. So I think I'll just play with a uh, whole different team with the Akira Tundler. I'm just going to throw on some other Sandstorm pets just to play around with them. No uh, particular reason behind it, just to try something else out. Sure, why not? We'll bring the bronze proto whelp. This might even be my first time ever playing with it. Okay. Um, eh, probably not going to save it as a team, just to play around with these two pets. This probably will be my last battle. So hopefully can end it off on a win. Been on a pretty big uh, win streak so far, so I don't see why not. Oops, there we go. Okay. Triple, well, I thought it was triple undeads for a second there. I thought that was that, uh, that one eyeball. I think it's a trading card game pet, if I'm not mistaken. Well, you know, Wing Buffet will actually come in handy in this battle because I'm faster than all of your pets. How about that? Oh, wow. Man, I am very glad I brought the prawns for the will. Let's go ahead and negate some of that damage that you're doing to me. Got a dragon ratio coming right at you. Haha, <laughs> you missed his interrupting gaze. That's kind of funny. Did a little animation as if it, you know, actually hit or whatever, but it missed. Bronze proto -well. holy crap. Just absolutely tearing apart. I'll go ahead and swap you out. So you can't get off that heal quite yet. And I got yet another dragon racial. Oh man, bronze proto wealth, absolutely slaying. Uh, Sandstorm is definitely negating a lot of that AoE that he's putting out. Go, bronze proto wealth, you can do it. Haha, <laughs> you missed. I don't think I missed once. And he missed like twice already, I think. I remember right. Alrighty, Kier Tunneler, come on out. Let's just go for a sandstorm. Oh, another mess from him. How unfortunate. You better not go for that consumed corpse. I warned him. You guys can't tell me I didn't warn him, because I did. But, uh, he did not take my advice lightly. No, he did get a crit there. There's something for you. Alright, well, we all know where this battle's going. Let's see, are you gonna make your end come closer? Or sooner, I should say? Oh, there's a miss from my end. I think that's the first miss I ever had. And yes, he is. Alright, Cure Tunnel had to walk all the freaking way over there. That's funny. And one more sandstorm will get the W. Boom. Ah, such an amazing pet. I can see why my buddy was telling me that this thing is pretty damn good. Alright, well, I think that will do it for this one. Again, the Kira Tunneler from one of the uh, rare bosses.
called Skitraz in Oldham. It's uh, basically the little Akira Salt with all the bugs and whatnot. So pretty easy to know which salt that is in case you're trying to get it. Uh, as far as drop chances go, if I were to guess, I'd imagine it's probably something like 5% or less. Don't quote me on that, but it is pretty low. However, there are quite a bit of them on the auction house. Way more than Rot Breath, that's for sure. And Rot Breath is way more expensive than Rare, so... Yeah, shouldn't it be that difficult to get your hands on if you want to give it a go yourself? It is definitely a damn good pet. For sure, probably a uh, Tier 1 pet for sure. And uh, there's not very many critters that are that damn good. But uh, Gear Tumbler just... You know, just happened to be that good. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Really hope you all enjoyed. And until next time, you all have a nice day. Peace.